be on me They jockin' my style, countin', countin' my money Got the girls gone wild, huh, hoes be on me They jockin' my style, shit She ain't got my number, but I'm on speed dial, shit She ain't got my number, but I'm on speed dial, shit She ain't got my number, but I'm on speed dial, huh, hoes be on me they chucking my style, count, count my money, got the girls going wild. What's going on, man? They call me Simply Kells, man. I'm the beat man. I'm the man behind the boards, you know? Everything you hear from my man Ace Book, I produce, I'd say, 99% of the tracks. I think maybe like one or two tracks you've been on that I ain't produced, but other than that, I mean, um, I rap myself, got my own little. Uh, the thing going, man. Ace, we got the creative trends popping off. You know, man, I'm just young, living life, trying to get to this money. That's how we do it. What, uh, what's your favorite song on uh, Time For A Change? Time For A Change, my favorite song is probably Grind Slow. Uh, reason being is, I mean, I made the track. I mean, the hook, I, I told you how I felt about it and how we was gonna ride with it and, and you laid that shit down and I just like that motherfucker. Like, like that's my shit. I rock with it. Um, I just feel like it's a it's a full song and it's just something different that, that, that people gonna have to listen to and, and when they listen to it it's gonna catch their ear. So, you know, I love it. Why why you name the mixtape Time for a Change? Why we name it Time for a Change? Because it is a time for a change. I feel like the St. Louis scene, um, and music is just like um it's watered down. It's it's not enough substance. It's it's a lot of the the same thing. You hear the same producers. You hear the same features. I feel like everything we're doing right now is like a breath of fresh air. So we're going to say it's a time for a change because it's something new. Um, also, it's coming from a perspective of, your, of Ace Buzz. And he's going from Ace Buzz to Mr. Nobody. So Mr. Nobody is something that he's always been known as AKA. Uh, also known as No Instant Nobody, but now it's actually Mr. Nobody, time for a change. So this is the new shit, this is what we rocking with, this is Creative Trends, this is the, the, the brand, this is like a, a start of a new era. So time for a change, it's just, it's fitting for the time period that we in right now. So next one, we gonna be ready for that, it's gonna be something different. But right now we have time for a change, this is the new era. So with the whole mixtape going, what would be your favorite? Like, I know you produce every track on there, so what would be your favorite track, like just favorite beat all together? That's a hard one. Um, gotta say, the number one, as soon as the rock comes in with that, uh, that bad guy, I mean, the beat itself, like, <laughs> it's crazy. And then the way that you came up with the hook and, and you laid it down, like you took it to the next level. So, uh, that's definitely got to be my favorite, more than likely. That close is Kevin Durant. It's that one close to me. I like that one, but that bad guy just it's, it's kind of edged it out for me. Okay, so like I know I know you say time for a change, and I know, I know everything that I've seen from you guys' movement. You guys like to do things against the grain. So with that being said, like industry songs, like right now. Like, what would be the song if you, if you would push something to the forefront and people had to look at that first and, and judge you off of that? What what would be that song like that you would feel that's more industry than anything? You saying it's on the mix like that's more industry? Yeah. That's a good question. So you saying that's something that's industry ready? That's something like, yeah, like right now, if you had to pick one song and take it to a and or take it to... A person who can put you on in the game in the industry and you had to come up with some industry songs like they that's what they want to hear songs that's gonna make a label money I got you I got you it would be a combination it'd probably be a uh, hoes be on me and grind slow the reason why is those are, are two industry songs that I feel like as soon as you hear them whether it's in a club or in a car people gonna listen to it and they gonna they gonna start rocking they give you that feel good feeling especially on the hoes be on me but grind slow on the other end it's more of a in detail type of song, but it's something that you can definitely hear on the radio. So uh, those would definitely be the two that I would that I would say that would be industry ready that you could just take anywhere and play. Okay, that's that's your opinion. With that being said, uh, <laughs> tell me about uh, I'll be on that. I'll be on it. Yeah. 
Damn, man, I forgot that's on the mixtape, bro. Like, <laughs> and, and uh, the whole the, wor- the whole world don't know that that's on the mixtape because that was the single that that it was is. pushed. It's the first single from the mixtape, mm-hmm. and um, like that one is is really close to me. Like, I uh, I fuck with that song. I be on it like that. We pushed it for a reason. Like when we made that song, we was coming off of the last mixtape, mixtape uh, the um, Reloaded. Uh, when we dropped that one, that's around the same time when we actually recorded that song. So the song's been around for a minute. So when we actually dropped it, and it was just like, it just bridged into what we're doing now. And and um, I mean that song is just it's it's amazing. <laughs> like <laughs> you hear it, 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 it's just it catches you right off the bat. Like that one, in my opinion, uh, I'll be on that flash shit. It's just. Uh, it seemed like, especially something that's, that's like St. Louis, in my opinion. That's probably the most St. Louis song that's on there, if you ask me. That's just me personally. That's Simply Kales. I have to vouch for that. So. Okay. Uh, since you said you re- recorded that in the process of the last mixtape, the uh, Reloaded, yeah. Secrets Are Reloaded, tell me about like what other songs was recorded around that same time. Because I, I know you guys didn't record everything at one time. Like, um, does does the mixtape go from uh, song the songs that you just you recorded last, and then goes to the old songs, or is the old songs then the new songs? Like, how do you guys got that set up? Uh, it's kind of mixed in. I mean, I I be on that was recorded um, around the same time when we uh, was finishing up the last mixtape, uh, along with the last song on the on the uh, mixtape, which I'm actually featured on. Um, those two, I mean, other than, I mean, those are the, the two songs that we did back then. Um, and I mean, that was just strong songs. We felt like the songs, they just, they didn't fit with the last mixtape and where the last mix, mixtape was going. Um, so we just basically held on to them. We knew we was coming out with something soon. We, we already had songs already made, just like we already got the next mixtape done too. Just in case you didn't know, we ready to hit you over the head with that. So uh, that's just worth ethic, man. Uh, man, Ace, we constantly stay in the studio. We constantly come up with new shit. So um, while y'all on step two, we on step fifteen, and we just gonna continue to, to do it that way. So, so what made you guys drop on Memorial Day? Memorial Day, I mean, it's a big weekend. Uh, Obviously, for St. Louis, that's when people call, come back from, from from school. I mean, a lot of the people that I know that's around my age, they come back from school around that time of the year. They all here in St. Louis. So it's a, uh, it's a big time of the year for us. So you get that out to the family. You get that out to your friends. We know we got a lot of support behind us around that time of the year. And, I mean, that's the biggest thing that we're going to need is support. So uh, that's the reason why we came out Memorial Day weekend. Um, I feel like it's beneficial for, for everybody.